everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily angelic message for March 24th, 2024. We have here commitment. The number is 36. Mm. I always say in every video, it's a given. Go back and watch my other content. Don't worry about the dates that are on there. Go back and watch it, but especially the dailies for this week and the weekly. Lots of content there. Lots was coming out, okay? So make sure you're paying attention to it because this commitment card... Um, I know what a lot of you, well, some people who approach these readings in a very shallow way or, you know, you get offended like, oh my gosh, just because I find this stuff entertaining doesn't mean that I'm shallow. Yes, it does mean that you're shallow. Sorry if you don't like it. I said what I said. If you need to unsubscribe, go ahead and unsubscribe. That's fine. That's 100% fine. What this is talking about is how we are joining forces. And who's the we? We're the ones that get put out... <laughs> we're the ones that get betrayed. We're the ones that, you know, probably the most horrific things have happened to, and yet we don't get any support. We're, I keep saying this in videos, where we're treated like we're a burden. We're treated like, you know, you're too heavy to be around. Like your energy is too heavy. And like someone's got some moral high ground just because they've lived, quite frankly, in comparison, a charmed life. I'm not trying to diminish their struggles, but seriously though, like in comparison, like, you wouldn't have survived what some of us have survived. If you are the one who's been told that your existence is somehow broken, if you as a person are broken because you have had struggles and you've had, oh, we're coming out of that. We are so coming out of that. So that commitment is not, oh, is he going to propose? Who cares? Oh, I said what I said. Who cares? My God. Okay. It's like your whole life around you getting married. You're going to be divorced in three years. Okay. Statistics. I'm not trying to be mean. There's just some stuff that's happened and we've recorded it. Okay. Like, check it out. Okay. Just, just look at it. No, what we're talking about here is, I would say like soul commitments, but commitments in the way, oh man. Um, I'm going to get in so much trouble this week. I don't care. Uh, I have nothing to lose with this channel. It doesn't even matter. Um, <laughs> throwing caution to the wind here. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, like this, this commitment of, Hey, I see you when I see your struggles. We're standing back and we're watching these people who quite, again, quite frankly, are probably young souls. Um, they're not, a lot of them are very narcissistic because, and you can, I don't know if we're on a planet full of young souls. I don't know what the deal is. I think it's more of like, it's planted. Yes, it's planted. These are things that are planted into people, um, whether that's through stories, the conditioning that we have around us, um, the stigmas, you know, all of that starts to really work on someone's psyche. And so I'm, I'm speaking from a spirituality standpoint, not a psychological standpoint. So let's make that distinction there. Uh, if you want to listen to experts who have a psychological degree, even that degree doesn't mean they're a good person. So make sure you're vetting and paying attention to what you feel off of them. Okay. But, you know, this whole thing of these seeds being planted, it makes sense, right? Because this was another thing that I was thinking of. I probably shouldn't be sharing this on social media, uh, whatever. Um, I worked for a place a long time ago and they had approached me and said, you know, the company would pay for you to get your NB MBA, <coughs> pardon me, um, to pay for you to get master's degree in business. And I was like, oh yeah, that sounds awful. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> All love and respect people got MBAs. I mean, uh, listen, I have an MFA, a Master of Fine Arts degree. It was not easy to get. I had to write novels. I had to read novels like The Fountainhead twice in a week, okay? With other novels, we had to read twice within a week. You had to speed read or you wouldn't get through. It was a lot, okay? It was a lot. But anyway, these people approached me and said, hey, you want to now go for your MBA? And I said, yeah, do you mind? And they said, you know, we could get you. I'm going to be careful and not say certain schools, but we could get you into... And I remember I looked at this person and I laughed. I thought they were kidding. And I said, well, I was always a good student. I'm sure I would have, would have had the grades to get there. But I don't know if I'm the type that they would want there. And this person literally looked at me and said, that's no problem. We could get you in. 
Now, I turned that down. Some of you might be like, are you kidding? You should No, I'm not kidding. That is part of this delusion that that is good and that is the way you want to go. Thank God I've got, it's kind of coming out in fear, but I was actually like, something feels really off about this. <laughs> like, no, thank you. And I want to leave this company. And I did. I got out of there. Now, whether that was something actually corrupt or not, I don't know. Maybe my sensors were off, but something didn't feel right about that. But this is an example of how, like, we, we get into these narratives and these things that are we're told, like, that's what you should want. We are part of this commitment. We're committing, hopefully, if you're healthy-minded, to changing this. Now, I think we're definitely coming into an era. And we already see evidence of this. Again, social media is a great social study, right? Um, we're seeing where people don't want that overindulgence content anymore, where it used to be like, show me your perfect living situation. Now people want real. Show me your real life. Stop acting like you've got it all together. A lot of these people for about a decade who have been out there have tried to show, well, maybe not a decade, like whenever Instagram came online, <clears throat> it was a lot of just pretending like you live in um, a sweet home, like, you know, like it's perfect, it's clean, it's beige. Remember beige? Oh, God. Beige can be okay, but dang. they abused the beige. They were out there. I think that's a millennial thing. And millennial pink, nothing against the millennials. I love y'all. I'm only a couple of years ahead of you, so, like, literally. I think I've called a zennial. But anyway, <laughs> like, you know, like all this thing of like opulence and like, you know, throwing your wealth around, we're coming into an era where we don't want that. So the reason why I'm talking about all of this is the commitment card is not in, yeah, because they're giving us a word of caution here, not doing this thing of we're committing to the cause. Watch people who are doing that. That's pretty toxic. I don't know why they're telling me it's toxic, but I guess people are doing it in a toxic... We know people are doing it in a toxic way. But this is committing, seeing the other person who also is not being supported, um, who deserves to be supported. Let's make the distinction. Sometimes people are backing away from a person because they are toxic. And they use people. And they trauma dump on people. And they refuse to do any work on themselves. And they just want to be... Um, coddled and validated constantly. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the drowning friends, okay? The ones that are expected to be strong, not only for themselves, but to not have any other problems being shown to other people because of people lean on them so much. We commit to each other. We be friends with each other. We are the ones who would never, ever, ever dream of betraying our friends. We are the ones who, if you have a husband, right, you would never need to worry about your husbands around us because we're not, first of all, at least over here, I don't need male validation like that. I'm past that. Okay. We've graduated past that. Okay. <laughs> but even more so, I'm not, I'm not going to try to take your relationship away from you. And do you know how many times, well, when I was younger, but when, um, <laughs> when I was younger, there would be so many situations and it was sickening how these married men would come up to me and make it seem like, well, you know, the sob story, I'm in this terrible situation, you don't know. And I've heard plenty of women, I've had people that I've blocked on my channel because they wrote me a nasty letter, email Saying, you don't know people's situations. Sometimes cheating is... Da, 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 da. Shut up. Okay? Just shut up. You're probably one of these narcissists out there. I didn't ask for your story. I'm just saying that in this situation, you wouldn't need to worry about someone, you know, stealing your man. <laughs> oh, this is a side PSA, but if I may. Um, quit assuming that if you have single gal pals around you... That they're after your boyfriend or, or your husband. Your choices are not as good as you think. And we don't want your problems. It's arrogant. A little bit. Arrogant. Okay. To assume that we would want what you have. Only you think it's great. Now, for some of you out there, you have, she said, what now? I said it all. Okay. 
give me an amen in the comments, okay? <laughs> but like some, yeah, I have had these friends around who are super insecure. Um, my God, they will take any male attention if they're straight. Any male attention they can get. I don't know why they're like that. I don't know. But um, just don't be friends with people like that. If they're, if you're in a situation, some of you are in a situation where you have coworkers who are like that. Um, I don't know. See what you can do to maneuver that. But this commitment is the strong, ignored people who mostly have been treated like we're weird or we're I don't know somehow not accepted into the mainstream first of all what a compliment yes it is a compliment and we can come together and support one another let's make a movement for authentic loving human beings to come together and truly support one another you with me comment down below we're gonna leave it there I'm sending you all so much love and take care